My name is Jill Doherty and I'm running for town council in Southalltown. Well, I am a mother of two. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both in college this year and I'm very proud of them. They're doing excellent. And um, I grew up in, in Port Washington, but always in, in East Marion and I always just, uh, my work, my social life, everything's always been out in South Hill Town. Um, I first started at uh, Town Hall in 1987 and it's just, this town is great and I just been a part of it all my life. I wanted my kids to grow up in South Hill Town and they did. I'm a boater, I have a boat, so I, I like to sneak out in my boat whenever I can. Uh, that's that's the way to get away from everybody. It's just even if it's just right off the beach, you know. I'm like, okay, nobody can talk to me, call me, whatever. Um, and then uh, of course I I'll raft up with all my other friends on boating and stuff like that. Uh, I love the beach. Uh, I love walking. That's my exercise. Um, and uh, you know, and and doing stuff with my kids, but they're not home anymore, so. <laughs> Uh, their their lives are getting busier. They're at you know college and everything. So, you know I'm a hardworking, um, you know honest person that just really, you know wants to do things right, and that's what I instilled in my kids. Um, so uh, personally, I've kept that all my life. So that's accomplishment, you know, because it's hard. In uh, work life, uh, at town hall, I have. Uh, I've accomplished a lot of little things. I can't say I did one big thing because it. This job is. In, I was a trustee before on the town council, and it's all about uh, balancing the the laws on the books, not just town, but in state laws, and um, what the uh, residents of the town want and what they perceive to be the best for them. Um, so I've changed uh, the local codes to come up with the times because they most of the codes were done in the 70s and 80s and there's a lot has changed but um, you know so you gotta look at you, you I try to change all the little codes we just had a code committee meeting yesterday and we, we accomplished another change that will uh, help people out and make it make it easier to do what they want but yet still uh, help the environment and the way of life we have here I like being the voice of the people and being there to help everybody I th I think it's because I come from the background of being um, a clerical worker for Town Hall for so long. Uh, so I know I, w I worked in the planning board. As I said, I started in 1987, and then I worked and then I worked for the trustees for many years. And uh, so I learned what each department does, what their uh, value is in Town Hall, and uh, how how everything works. Um, in my other jobs, I'm a bookkeeper. Um, I've waitress. I've done you know done so many different jobs. So I'm out there with the regular people, but yet I know how the insides of town hall works. So um, I think that gives me an edge because I know what each department does, and I know what if if you come with me with a problem, I can work through the obstacles. You know, and I have on my Facebook page, my friend found this for me, and uh, I, put, I posted it, and it says, where there's, a, where there's a Jill, there's a way. And my friends, my friends on Facebook and everything, they're like, that's you, Jill. Because if, I don't take no for an answer. It might not be the answer that you want, but we'll find a different way or a variation, and we'll get something done. And that's, that's what I pride myself in, too. You know, and, uh, and I think, I think that's, a, you know, a thing that you need in this type of business. I think the biggest issue right now is um, South Old Town's been discovered. And we love our town the way it is. We love sharing it with everybody. Um, but with more and more people coming, we don't have the infrastructure to handle these people. And um, that's a, di a difficult road ahead. Um, you know, we just did the uh, defined the uh, you know re transient rental, and that turned into a big you know people want rental law people you know and and I don't want to jump into okay let's do a rental law let's just take it slow see how it goes let's develop it as as we work through it see what the people of the town want how because we can't we we have to we want to promote our town but yet we don't want to overload it and become the Hamptons or a city or anything like that so. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a difficult road ahead, and it's a balance of trying to keep everything rural and, and the way we want it, but yet share it, because uh, we do have a beautiful place we live in.
running for town council, I, I ran for trustee for a number of years when I was there, and they asked me to, to um, move up to town council four years ago, so I'm finishing my first four-year term. My first reaction was like, no, I want to stay with the environment. I want to, and then I thought, you know, I can bring what I do for the trustees through the town board and through the whole, um, the whole town board and touch more than just one office. Um, like I said before, you know, I know how each office operates and I can help people through, um, through the process of whatever they need to get done. And, uh, and I just feel that um, with my background and stuff, I just I, I tr want to try to make it easier for people to get things done that what they what they want. And I want to, and I, I just it, to me living in this town and and raising my kids here, I see a lot of my uh, younger people that I know that are their kids are little now, and I want them to have the same experiences my kids had, you know. And uh, you know, so it's it's important for me to try to uh, be one of the people that is your voice and holds everything together the way we want it to be. Um, well, the same reasons I've just been talking about. Um, I'm a hardworking person. I, um, I'm available. You can call me on my cell phone, email, whatever. I, you know, 24-7 I'm there. I'll return your call right away. Um, it's, I'm an avenue for them to uh, solve their problems or, you know, it doesn't have to be negative. It could be positive. Um, and like I said, if I don't know all the answers, but I know what direction, what path to send you down to get the answers. And I'll follow through because I want to, I might want to know that answer, you know, if I don't know it now. And, and I'll always return your call and it's just, it's, it's um, just communication and, and keeping the community the way it is. And uh, I think I'm a good, a good uh, person that, you know, I think I do that well. And that, you know, and, and knowing the history that I know, that I have in the town and uh, I think, that's why I have a head up on, on some of the other candidates.